Today we are going to discuss the concepts of kinetic energy and work, and how we can relate the two using what's called the work kinetic energy theorem. Energy and work are both terms we throw around a lot in day-to-day -day life. But in the physics world, they have very particular meanings. This video is about the physics meanings of work and energy, specifically kinetic energy, and how the two are connected. So let's get to work. Say there's a box on the floor and you apply force, sliding it in a straight line. In doing so, you have given the box kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy that an object possesses by virtue of its motion. Because the velocity of the block has changed, so has its kinetic energy. If an object of mass, m, moves with a certain velocity, v, then the object is said to have kinetic energy. We calculate how much kinetic energy it has with this simple formula. Ke, measured in joules, equals a half times mass times velocity squared. Mass is measured in kilograms and velocity in meters per second. When you pushed the box and it gained kinetic energy, work was done on the block. We say work is done when a force is applied to an object, displacing it in the same direction as the force. In mathematical terms, work is the amount of force applied in the direction of displacement times by the distance the object has been displaced. We measure work in joules, force in newtons, and displacement in meters. The work energy theorem relates kinetic energy and work. It states that the work done by all forces acting on an object is equal to the change in kinetic energy. But how can we prove it? Revisiting that box you pushed, say you moved it from point A to point B. At point A, it had a velocity, VA. When you applied the force of magnitude, F, you changed its velocity so that when it reaches point B, it has velocity, VB. During this period, you displaced it by distance, D. Now, as is often the case, Newton's rules come in handy. Newton's second rule tells us F equals MA. Since work equals FD, replacing the F with MA, we can say that work equals M times A times D. That is, mass times acceleration times displacement. Now, cast your mind back to the equations of motion. The third kinematic equation of motion tells us that final velocity squared equals initial velocity squared plus 2 AD. Solve for acceleration and we get this. Now, drop this new equation for acceleration into our formula for work done, replacing the A. With a bit of simplification, cancelling out the Ds, we see that work done equals the change in the quantity, half mv squared. Does that look familiar? Of course. That's the formula for kinetic energy. So, another way of saying this is that work done on an object is equal to the difference in kinetic energy, Ke, from one point to another. And just like that, we've proved the work energy theorem. Here, W represents the overall net work done on the object, not the work done by a single force. If the value of W is positive, the object will speed up, and if it's negative, the object will slow down. Friction forces do negative work. If the value was zero, no work was done on the object. It's worth noting that the example we've considered in this lesson is a simple one. The force applied moved the box in a straight line, parallel to its velocity. Though other forces do act on the box, namely gravity and a normal force, they cancel each other out and do no work. The net force arises solely from the applied force and friction. A more complex case would be an object that rolls. In that case, we'd need to take rotational kinetic energy into account. The total kinetic energy is the sum of the translational and rotational kinetic energies of the object. Are you ready to put these equations into action in an example? Say a bullet of 0.2 grams is fired at a 1 kilogram wooden block. 
the bullet becomes embedded in the wood, and due to the bullet's force, the block moves with an initial speed of 5 meters per second before coming to a standstill after 10 meters. What's the friction force between the block and the surface? Pause now if you want to find the answer on your own. Let's assess what we know. We know the initial velocity, VA, is 5 meters per second, and VB is 0 meters per second. Since the bullet embedded in the wood, the block and bullet act as a single object with a combined mass, M, of 1.0002 kilograms. The displacement, D, is 10 meters. The work done by the friction force is negative because the friction acts in the opposite direction to motion. So, using the equation we introduced earlier, the work equals negative force times displacement. We can also calculate work done with our work energy theorem. Putting those two equations for W together, we get this. And after inputting the values we already know, we can solve to find that the friction force has a value of 1.25 newtons. Hopefully the work kinetic energy theorem is clear to you and you feel equipped to use it to solve new problems like this one. Why not try out some more practice problems to solidify what you've learned? Thanks for watching.